Teachers are dodging bullets, buying supplies, and parenting our next generation. They're grading our kids, but we're failing them. America's social ills and political failures are seeping into our classrooms and affecting our children. Teachers are the ones who are the first responders to these troubles. Take poverty. It's no secret that teachers often have to buy their own classroom supplies and sometimes food for hungry kids. But it is surprising that some of them are on government assistance themselves. As a professional degreed teacher working two jobs, I qualified for WIC and food stamps, and we collected on the WIC. So that's how low teacher pay is here. You know, there were a lot of times where uh, we had to choose between groceries and, you know, health coverage for my family. In his home state of West Virginia, teachers make an average of $45,000 a year. That's the 47th lowest teacher salary in the country. They felt they had no other option than to strike to get a 5% raise. Despite that small victory, teacher pay is plummeting overall. In 2015, public school teachers' weekly wages were 17% lower than what similar workers took home. 20 years ago, they were just 1.8% lower. How can you expect teachers to be effective when their pay is shrinking, but their challenges are growing? Take immigration. Studies show that immigration crackdowns have created an atmosphere of uncertainty and fear in many schools across the United States. Sure, immigration agents aren't allowed in schools, but that doesn't stop students from worrying that their families could be ripped apart. And that stress is felt by the whole classroom. Grades slip, classes miss, teachers end up assigning math homework and treating trauma. And of course, there's guns. As Parkland shows, school shootings have become so normal that students and teachers receive active shooter training, and that still doesn't keep them safe. And in cities like Chicago, plagued by gun violence, teachers have been helping children traumatized for this violence for years. Former Education Secretary Arnie Duncan said, our budget reflects our values. In that case, don't you think public school teachers deserve a bonus? Well, President Trump suggested they could get one, for carrying a gun. Otherwise, his administration wants to slash public resources for schools. Under Education Secretary Betsy DeVos, the administration wants to cut federal funding for teacher training and counselors in schools. That would hit the type of programs that are helping the Parkland kids right now. We're asking teachers to be our children's bodyguards, grief counselors, food kitchens, and caretakers. How can they be compensated for this expanding job description? By striking or by carrying a gun? That is ridiculous. Today's teachers are shaping tomorrow's leaders. And when you fail one, you fail everyone. We can and we must do better.